Hey, beautiful people of God. So I'm just going to prove to you through, through scriptures that God gives you your ordained wife and it's law, it's a the part of his law to give you your ordained wife and that you should only have one wife and about being twine in one flesh. This is going to be a short video and this is the book of Jacob chapter 2 verse 26 to 30. Wherefore, I, the Lord God, will not suffer that this people shall do like unto them of old. Wherefore, my brethren, hear me and hearken to the word of the Lord. For there shall not any man among you have, save it be one wife, and concubines he shall have none. For I, the Lord God, delight in the chastity of women, and whoredoms are an abomination before me. Thus says the Lord of hosts. So you're not supposed to do like the people of old and for there shall not any man among you have save it be one wife and concubines. He, he shall have none for I, the Lord, delight in the chastity of a woman. So God delights in the chastity of a woman and whoredoms are an abomination before me. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Wherefore, this people shall keep my commandments, says the Lord of hosts, or curse be the land for their sakes. For I will, says the Lord of hosts, raise up seed unto me. I will command my people, otherwise they shall hearken unto these things. So do you see why these books didn't make it into your King James canon? Because the kings had more than one wives and they had concubines. Um, Doctrine and Covenants 49 and 16. Wherefore, it is lawful that he should have one wife, and they twine shall be one flesh, and all this that the earth might answer the end of its creation, and that it might be fulfilled with the measure of man according to his creation before the world was made. Now, in Doctrine and Covenants 132 and 19, and again, verily I say unto you, if a man marry a wife by my word, so you're supposed to marry a wife by God's word, which is my law. So it's God's law for you to marry a wife by his word and by the new and everlasting covenant. And it is sealed unto them by the Holy Spirit of promise by him who is anointed unto whom I have appointed. So you have to be anointed and appointed people. I made a video about being anointed and appointed. And when you obey God, you get the Holy Spirit. So you're in covenant with God when you have one wife. Let me read this again. And again, really, I say unto you, if any man, if a man marry a wife by my word, you marry a wife by God's word, which is my law, which is my law. And by the new and everlasting covenant, you're in covenant with God, your covenant wife, your covenant children, your covenant blessings, your covenant promises with God. And it is sealed unto him by the Holy Spirit of promise by him who is anointed unto whom I have appointed this power and the keys of the priesthood. And it shall be said unto them, you shall come forth in the first resurrection. So you need to understand that now being twine, right? You're twine. So you're not supposed to be messing around with other people. 1 Corinthians 6 and 16. What? Know you not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two says he shall be one flesh. Now, Matthew 19 and 5. And he and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twine, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So you see with Doctrine and Covenants 49 and 16, it says, Wherefore, it is lawful that he should have one wife, and thy, it's lawful to have one wife, and they twine shall be one flesh, and all this that the earth might answer the end of its creation. And what does it say And in Doctrine and Covenants 32 and 19? And again, verily, I say unto you, if a man marry a wife by my word, which is my law, it's lawful. And by the new and everlasting covenant, it's covenant. You get it, people? So you're not supposed to, so you can seek a godly seed. This is it. Yet, this is Malachi chapter 2. 
and 14. Yet you say, Wherefore, because the Lord has been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. You have a covenant wife. You have a covenant wife, the one God gave you. And did not he make one to be one flesh? Yet he yet had he the residue of the spirit. And wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed? Your wife is blessed to give you godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit. God tells men to take heed to their spirit. And let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. Committing adultery is dealing treacherously against the, your wife of your youth, your wife of covenant. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says that he hates putting away. He hates when men put away their wives and cheat on them with other women. For one covers violence with his garment and says, The Lord of hosts, wherefore take heed to your spirit that you deal not treacherously. You have Okay, and then Jacob, it goes, For behold, I, have, I the Lord have seen the sorrow and heard the mourning of the daughters of my people in the land of Jerusalem, yeah, and the wicked in all the lands of my people, because the wickedness and the abomination of their husbands. And I will not suffer, says the Lord of hosts, that the cries of the fair daughters of this people, which I have led out of the land of Jerusalem, shall come up unto me against the men of my people, says the Lord of hosts, because for they shall not lead away captive the daughter of my people because of their tenderness, save I shall visit them with a sore curse, even unto destruction, for they shall not commit whoredoms like unto them of old, says the Lord of hosts. This is because of their whoredoms. This is why God will punish the men. Wherefore, my brethren, hear me and hearken to the word of the Lord. For there shall not any man among you have, save it be one wife and a concubine, he shall have none. Because the, t the cries of, the, of, his pe of his daughters have come up before him. And behold, David and Solomon truly had many wives and concubines, which thing was abominable before me, says the Lord. This is why these books of the ten tribes of the northern kingdom didn't make it in the southern tribes of the kings of Israel. Because what? Behold, David and Solomon truly had many wives and concubines, which thing was abominable before me, says the Lord. Wherefore, thus says the Lord, I have led this people forth out of the land of Jerusalem by the power of my arm, and I might raise up unto me a righteous branch from the fruit of the loins of Joseph, because the people have been wicked with their whoredoms. That's why all through the Bible, God tells you, don't commit adultery. Galatians 5 and 19. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, latch of viciousness. Now, 2 Peters 2 and 14. Have an eyes full of adultery and cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls and heart. They have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. Now, this is what happens to you when you commit adultery. Proverbs 6 and 32. But whosoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He that does it destroys his own soul. You destroy your own soul when you commit adultery and you lack understanding. That's why it says... These are the works of the of the flesh. They're manifest because this destroys your soul. Now, Deuteronomy 5 and 18, Neither shall thou commit adultery. Exodus 20 and 14, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Ezekiel 23 and 37, They have committed adultery and blood is in their hands. And with their idols, they have committed adultery and have also caused their sons whom they bear on to me to pass through the fire to devour them. Leviticus 20 and 10. This is God's law. And the man that commits adultery with another man's wife, even he that commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Romans 2 and 22. Thou says, thou that says a man should not commit adultery. Does thou commit adultery? Thou that arbors idols, do thou 
commits um, sacrilege. Now, Luke 16 and 18, whosoever puts away his wife and marries another commits adultery. And whosoever marries her that is put away from her husband commits adultery. Why? Because you're covering violence. For the Lord of God of Israel says that he hates putting away. That's getting another woman. For one covers violence with his garment, says the Lord of hosts. Where, therefore, take heed to your spirit that you deal not treacherously against the wife of your youth because you're twine, you're one flesh. You are one flesh with your wife. 1 Corinthians 6 and 16. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a whorelet is one body? For two says he shall be one flesh. Matthew 19 and 6. Wherefore they are no more twined but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. All right? Mark 10 and 8. And they twined shall be one flesh. So they, so then they are no more twined but one flesh. Doctrine and covenants. 49 and 16. Wherefore it is lawful that he should have one wife. And they twine shall be one flesh. And all this that the earth might answer the end of creation. So you should not be sleeping around. Period. You destroy your own soul and you'll lack knowledge. Do not walk in the flesh. Walk in, to, walk in the spirit. Um, I hope this helped you. With understanding you shall have one wife. And you're supposed to ask God for your wife.